Oh, here we are at Sydney University and with Sam and Krista and Lisa. <laughs> and we're going to show you how to use uh, the maker box over here. We need to start up Replicator G, which is the yellow program in the start menu. And then select file, open, and the file that we want. And then you might not be able to see it straight away. Oh, in this case, it's saying we're connecting up. So just ignore those warnings and just press OK. All right, so we've opened up our file and we need to move it onto the platform. So you, connect, you click on the move job and then select the put on platform and center. And you should be able to see your job. You might also have to scale it up or down um, so it fits nicely in that blue box. In this case, we need to rotate the job. So click the rotate tab and the rotate around Z makes things easier. And rotate it so it fits nicely on your job. And then just have a look around the job to make sure that it fits on the platform. Once you're happy with that, we click on generate G-code. And it's probably going to ask you to save it if you've moved it, in which case you do want to save it. And you wait. And then you select our job. The important things are, if you're using this one here with the, um, just the heated build platform, then you need to click the heated build platform one. And then we don't need a raft for this particular job. A raft is like the, uh, it puts it on a bed of plastic and you, you'll need a raft if you need exterior support on your job, like if you have overhangs. We're going to fill up our job with 35% and layer height should be 0.35. Number of shells, one, is good for this job. If you've got thin features, then it's a good idea to put zero. Um, the extruder tab should be 10.58. Uh, I just go with all the things that are there already. And then when you're happy with that, uh, generate your G-code. Uh, this will take a little while, so uh, click on the next video once this is done. Bye.